that makes me think even more that she's definitely bearing a calf. Now, Anna, you're wondering if elephants can, or well, the females in particular, obviously, can they secrete milk before an actual birth? Yes, they do. So, and the reason why they do this, Anna, is uh, elephants only give birth every four to five years or so. So it's uh, quite a big gap between their, uh, their calves. And the youngsters will suckle for a couple of years. So the young calf is constantly stimulating that mammary gland too. And this one is just at the age that it's being weaned. I reckon that this cow, she's got a, she's quite a big bulge to her side. I don't think she's necessarily far off um, from giving birth. And that's why that calf keeps going there, is because it knows that if, if, she, if it can latch on, um, then it is going to be able to suckle and get milk. And once this cow has had her, her next calf, uh, obviously the youngster, the new one, gets preference. But when mom's not concentrating, because I'm sure they zone out, just as we as humans and moms often zone out, you know, doing something when she's feeding, the older calf will come in and actually try and sneak a suckle too. So yeah, so her mammary glands are full at the moment. Hopefully they hang around here. It'd be really nice to capture an elephant birth live. That would be really amazing. I think that, will, that would definitely be a first. We've seen Impala, we've seen the zebra giving birth. But something as amazing as, a, as an elephant, wow, that would be r truly a breathtaking experience. And she's coming back this way again. Hey, big girl, you gonna come and feed on this bush willow? Yeah, she's walking straight towards it, reaching up for those yellow leaves. Delicious. Is it amazing? Bush willows are quite sort of scrappy trees. I think it's due to the elephants, though. You don't often see bush willows that are tall, have got a nice thick trunk to them. They always have got lots and lots of branches coming out from the ground, and that's because they're the main, one of the main food sources uh, of, of the elephants. Let's see who's going to come out this way now. See, I still don't know which, which way they're going to go. You could even turn and go back towards Gallagher Shortcut side. The other one is struggling. Yes, you're going to get left behind. Oh, eating a very prickly bush, eating a buffalo thorn. Hasn't quite got the taste of bush willows, but look what it's doing. It's actually not going after the leaves. It's got it's the branch in its mouth. And it is chewing on the branch to loosen the bark. And then normally they do a corkscrew motion with that tree, and then that's how they'll strip. Now, they're not after the hard sort of uh, outside layer they're after the cambium layer which is just on the underside of well on the inside sorry of of the tree and that's filled with nutrients it's the that's the layer of the tree that transports the nutrients from the roots up to the tops of the leaves here comes a little one also again isn't like i said every four to five years are giving birth so i'll say this one must be around somewhere around there between four and five years old off you go Shame, did you get booted? You couldn't get any milk. You tried so hard. Now, as we're looking at these elephants, we've been seeing quite a few young bulls coming through and sort of harassing some of the young cows. And Michelle, you're wondering, at what age do the elephant bulls get pushed out? So I'm going to tell you this while we try and reposition again. We'll actually face the elephants this time. Um, so it depends. There's actually quite a... A gap you know I've, you've, I've seen elephants as young as 15 16 years old obviously just a rest estimate of their age being pushed out and then I've seen elephant bulls only being you know kicked out at around 20 so I think it, it just depends on the individual um, firstly depending when they start to get a bit frisky that'll come in at different ages and same thing with humans when puberty hits, it's not the same with every person. The same thing goes with animals. It can be slightly different. Um, it, and then it also depends on their behavior. So if they only start exhibiting this boisterous behavior and pushing the youngsters around at a later age, and they can stay in the herd, they're not going to be a problem. The females won't mind them. But the issue is, is that they come through and they bully the youngsters. They start trying to uh, mate with females. Um, they're very uh, uh, sort of uncertain and confused about all the smells that they might be picking up, all the pheromones that are coming off of the cows. And that sort of uh, sends them a bit loony. And then that's when they become a problem. And then that's when the cows say, right, we're not standing for this anymore. Out you go. And they chase them out. I'm trying to get a view of our little friend. 
There it is. So that's typically when, and you know, it's actually not a very nice thing to watch. Uh, we, we can see it quite often. It's not an uncommon thing to see young bulls being pushed out of the herd, but I'll never forget the one experience I had in the Eastern Cape with a, her a breeding herd that was actually just re uh, reintroduced to a, an area. And sure, this poor bull, well, I don't, I don't actually feel sorry for him because he was really boisterous and he was annoying. He even caused trouble at the lodges. He was just a problem elephant. He needed to meet up with a big elephant bull to get a hiding. And um, it was a process that happened over a few weeks and the cows just stood their ground and every time he got too close to the herd they would trumpet and they would charge at him and almost form a wall and push him away and then he'd get the point and then he'd hang back and he couldn't help himself he'd be back again that afternoon and then the same thing would happen you'd hear trumpeting and distressing and you sort of think my goodness have they spotted a predator what's going on and it wasn't it was just a young bull harassing the herd I think Craigie let's move forward because I saw a whole lot of elephants. There's a whole lot more coming down this way now and maybe we'll catch them out in the open. Let's go see if we can find any other little elephants. It's actually a big herd. I don't know.